From the House of the Dragon trailer, it's clear that this series will feature a few time jumps or flashbacks. In one scene, Rhaenyra is 7, and in the other, she's 32. That's a pretty massive time jump, but it'll be a good way for the writer to cover enough ground. Covering the entire House of the Dragon timeline will require going back several years before Rhaenyra. 100 AC This year saw the death of the good queen Alysanne Targaryen and the introduction of the future queen Alicent Hightower, who at this point was only a young girl. Alicent would later marry the grandson of the good queen Viserys Targaryen. Years later, Alicent Hightower became the adversary of Rhaenyra Targaryen, the great-granddaughter of the good queen and daughter of Viserys. Although this year was not particularly eventful, the death of the Good Queen is an important event that greatly impacted the direction of the Targaryen family. The Good Queen rules by the side of her brother and husband, Jaehaerys Targaryen, who is often referred to as the Old King because he sat on the Iron Throne for a good 55 years. After the death of her beloved daughter, Gail, the Good Queen was not the same and she died shortly after. Then Prince Balon, son of the old king and heir to the Iron Throne, succumbed to a burst appendix and died, leaving the throne without an heir. In his final years, the old king placed Sir Otto Hightower in charge of the realm and Otto brought his daughter Alicent to care for the ailing king. 101 AC In 101 AC, the old king assembled the great council to help him choose a suitable heir to the throne. With the number of possible Targaryen heirs increasing, the old king needed the advice of the council to ensure that a desirable heir was in place to avoid a war after his passing. At the time, there were two main contenders for the throne, Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, the old king's granddaughter, and his grandson Viserys Targaryen. Rhaenys had a greater claim to the throne because she was the daughter of the third-born son of the old king, and Viserys was the son of the fourth-born son. Still, her claim to the throne was denied because she was a woman, hence she became known as the queen who never was. Instead, her cousin Viserys became the ruler. This tradition, which later became a sort of law, carried on to Rhaenyra's time as she would also face backlash when she tried to claim the Iron Throne. 102 AC This year brought the old king closer to death. His health had declined so much that he was losing touch with the reality. He would at some point confuse Alicent for his daughter Princess Sarah who left the realm several years ago. Alicent continued to care for the old king until his death that happened soon after. The old king passed away as Alicent read to him and Viserys became king. By the time Viserys took the throne, his bonded dragon Balerion had already died, making him the first king without a dragon. Balerion was ridden by Aegon the Conqueror during the conquest. The dragon died of old age after living for some 200 years. 103 AC in 103 AC, the new King Viserys made his younger brother, Daemon Targaryen, the Master of Coins. Daemon served in this position for about a year before becoming the Master of Laws, a position he only held for six months. He grew bored with the ways of the small council, and his blatant indifference earned him the hatred of Sir Otto Hightower, the King's Hand. The animosity between the men grew more and more, so Viserys removed him from the High Council and made him the commander of the City Watch of King's Landing. Viserys and his wife Emma had one daughter, which was Rhaenyra Targaryen. Because of this, Daemon considered himself the heir to the Iron Throne, and he carried himself as such, often referring to himself as the Prince of the City. However, the king had high hopes that his wife would conceive again. She had already given birth to a son before Rhaenyra, but the child died at an early age. As Rhaenyra, she became known as the Realm's Delight. 104 AC during his time as commander of the City Watch, Damon gifted his men expensive cloaks made from gold-colored fabric, which earned them the nickname the Gold Cloaks. 104 AC also saw the defeat of Damon at the hands of Sir Criston Cole, a young knight. At a tournament held to honor the King Viserys' ascension to the Iron Throne, Cole defeated Damon in the melee and then in the joust. Cole bested several other contenders before he lost the jousting match to the champion. Viserys' only daughter, Rhaenyra, was at the tournament. She was only seven at the time, but she was smitten with Cole and he with her. He would later present his victory laurel to her. 105 AC By 105 AC, Queen Emma became pregnant again. This time she bore a boy, but then she died while giving birth, and the boy, who the king named Balon, died the very next day. While drinking with his friends at the brothel, Damon joked that the dead prince was the heir for a day. When the king heard of his brother's joke, he was enraged and decided to punish him. He declared that his daughter Rhaenyra would be his heir and not Daemon. Viserys also made every lord in the realm swear to defend Rhaenyra's right to the throne. 
The king's relationship with his brother became even worse when the king demanded that he return the dragon egg he had planned to gift to his pregnant mistress, Myceria. Myceria would later lose the baby while trying to return the egg to the king. 106 AC In 106 AC, Viserys decided to take another wife, so against the wishes of the council, he wed Alicent Hightower. During this time, Daemon, who had left the realm on his dragon Caraxes, joined forces with Corlys Valerian, the head of House Valerian, and the Lords of the Tides to take over the Stepstones. 107 AC A year after Viserys' marriage to Alicent, the new queen gave birth to a son named Aegon, but the king stood by his promise and kept Rhaenyra as his chosen heir. Even after the birth of his nephew, Daemon Targaryen did not return home. He remained in the Stepstones, battling to conquer it. 109 AC The king and queen welcomed another child, a girl who they named Helena. The king's hand and Alicent's father, Otto, tried to convince the king to name his grandson Aegon as heir to the Iron Throne. Sadly, he managed to annoy the king so much, the Viserys replaced him as his hand, which forced him to return home. The king then named Lionel Strong as his new hand. In 109 AC, Daemon succeeded in his conquest and became the king of the Stepstones and the Narrow Sea. 110 AC In 110 AC, Alicent gave birth to another son named Amond, and the amity between her and Princess Rhaenyra grew stronger. This year also saw the birth of Sir Glendon Goad, who would later join Rhaenyra's Queen's Guard. And the Triarchy attempts to regain the Stepstones from Daemon Targaryen. 111 AC by now, it had been five years since the marriage of Alicent and Viserys. To celebrate, the king held a tourney. At the event, Rhaenyra wore black and Alicent wore green. This became a common way to refer to the supporters of the princess and the queen. Damon also returned during the tourney. He presented the Stepstone's crown to his brother and asked for his forgiveness, which Viserys willingly gave. Only six months after his return, Damon was exiled once again. 114 AC in 114 AC, Rhaenyra married Corlys Valerian's son, Leonor Valerian, to comply with her father's orders. She didn't want to marry Leonor because it was rumored that he was gay. Still, Rhaenyra welcomed their first child, Jacaris Valerian, that same year. Rhaenyra would later give birth to two more boys, Viserys in 115 AC and Joffrey in 117 AC. After the death of Daemon's wife, he married Corlys' daughter, Lena Valerian, and she gave birth to two girls, a set of twins named Bela and Reyna, who Rhaenyra was betrothed to two of her sons. 120 AC Popularly known as the Year of the Red Spring, 120 AC saw many deaths, including those of Rhaenyra's husband, Leonor, her rumored lover, Sir Harwing Strong, and Damon's wife, Lena. Shortly after their death, Damon and Rhaenyra got married behind the king's back. 129 AC the Dance of the Dragon would begin in 129 AC after the king's death. After Viserys passes away, his children, Rhaenyra and Aegon II, fought for the Iron Throne. The war lasted for many years and many people died during that time. With only five seasons, House of the Dragon hopes to tell the story of the Targaryens and all that happened to get them to the point of the Great War. This will be no easy feat because George Martin has written a lot about the Targaryen War, also known as the Dance of the Dragons, which means it might be a little difficult for HBO to cram it all into five seasons. Viewers will have to wait till August 21st to see how well the media giant manages to adapt the books.